Welcome to BigCountryPreps.com. I'm Evan Rinn, and this is the Countdown to Two-A-Days series, our daily look at an area football team and the key questions that we're going to be examining about that team in our August 16th preseason preview here at Big Country Preps. I'm with my partner, Dan Youngblood, via Zoom. And tonight, Dan, we're talking about the Sweetwater Mustangs. Yeah, and this is a, a Sweetwater team coming off a rough 1-9 and nine season in Coach Russell Lucas' second year. But they got a good group back. They got 20 of their 29 lettermen uh, returning, including seven offensive and eight defensive starters. I mean, they're going to have some big holes to fill from those uh, starters that did move on. But uh, I think this will be an, an should be an improved product over last year, certainly. The question is, you know, can they improve enough to – to get back into that playoff picture. But uh, we'll talk more about that here in just a few minutes. But uh, this should be, I think, uh, an interesting year here for for Coach Lucas in year three. All right. So we get going and take a look at the Sweetwater Mustangs. We want to remind you, please hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button and then hit that little bell so you'll receive YouTube notifications on when we have a new podcast here at Big Country Preps. And make it easy for you to follow along with our countdown to two a day series, which takes a look at one area team per day, counting it down all the way to the outset of two a days. With that, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the Mustangs this year. Um, and one big question, and it's interesting, they got seven starters back. So they do have a good nucleus to build from offensively. But uh, one big question is kind of who's going to emerge as the playmakers, as the skill guys that are going to lead the offense in terms of, you know, getting the moving the ball and, and getting into the end zone. They're going to uh, last year was a, a year where you saw, kind of saw a quarterback by committee. They had they used several guys there. Uh, the, the big question there is who's going to who's going to be the guy this year? Who's going to step up and lead the offense from that quarterback position? And then who are going to be his weapons? They got some options. Uh, obviously, Malik Brown's a, a talented kid. Uh, he's done some running in the past. He's a receiver this year. Uh, Corday Moore is a really good uh, two-way player for him. They're going to need him to be to be a playmaker. But uh, yeah, it's just going to be who's going to who's going to emerge, you know, and and be the guys that are that are their you know their weapons from a skill perspective. One question I would have is, uh, can they take a, a significant step forward defensively? They've got eight kids back. If they can keep them healthy, uh, they have more than twenty Letterman back. And the one thing to keep in mind is that Russell has a history, you know, with this in this sort of scenario. And his defense is kind of smallish. Um, he's he's been very adept at putting together solid defenses he, with a three three stack uh, or a three four uh, base set. He's just been very good with those small, quick defenses, and that's kind of what he's got this year. So, and he's got a lot of experience with these kids coming back. So, can we see Russell Lucas kind of repeat history? and put together a pretty solid, uh, quick, uh, uh, rangy defense with that odd front that he's done many times in the past. One more question uh, that I have about this group. Uh, it's really about the program more than the team. This is in year three for Coach Lucas, who's very much a culture guy. We saw that at Hamlin. He's very much about building a culture. Uh, I'm interested to see kind of where they stand in that regard. They're coming off a, a, a rocky year two after really having a very strong uh, debut season there. I'm interested to see just kind of how far culture can carry them in terms of, I mean, at this point, I mean, his program is established. He's got guys in there that that uh, know what his expectations are, that have, have bought in. I'm interested to see just the, the positive impact that can have. I mean, we, we saw at Hamlin – uh, how far culture, I mean, obviously they had a lot of talent too, but we saw how important culture was to what they accomplished there. I know that's a big, uh, a big focus on what he's doing at Sweetwater. I'm just interested to see what kind of progress was made in that regard from year two to year three. All right. Let's take a quick look at Sweetwater's schedule for 2023. They'll open things up with Idaloo at home on August 25th, followed by a three straight week road uh, journey. They go to Lakeview on the 1st of September, they go to Pecos on the 8th, and then they go to Big Spring on the 15th before finally returning home on September 22nd against Clyde. And then they will close the non-district portion of their schedule up on September 29th against Lubbock Estacado before getting an open date and then into district play. And then following that open date, uh, they'll open district with a road date at Greenwood uh, in what will be a, a tough district game right there. Then they host Graham on the 20th of October, go to Wichita for Falls Hershey on the 27th and then wrap up district play in their regular season at home against arch rival Snyder on the 3rd of November. Uh, so obviously uh, a good solid non-district schedule to get them ready. And then once district hits, I mean, there are no, I mean, there, there are no off nights in that district. I mean, if I, in just a five team district, you're, you're playing four teams that all expect to make the playoffs. If Sweetwater wants to, 
be in that mix at the end, they're going to have to beat some good teams. So should be interesting to see just how much this team can improve and if they can get back to the postseason this year. All right, and with that, it's about time to wrap up tonight's edition of the Countdown to Two-A-Days series, the Sweetwater Mustangs. But before we do that, we want to remind you that August 16th is the big day here at Big Country Preps. That's the day that we release our annual preseason football preview here on the website. It'll have uh, more than 40 team previews at the 11-man level. We'll have a six-man preview as well. We'll have more than 40 player features. We'll have opinion pieces. We'll have stats from last year. We'll have video and we'll have predictions. It's a ton of material, more material, a more in-depth look at big country high school football than any media source in the state. Sign up August 16th. In the meantime, thank you for joining us for this episode of our Countdown to Two-Day Series. Make sure you come back tomorrow when we move to Class 4A D1 and take a look at the Big Spring Steers here at BigCountryPreps.com. Mm-hmm.